joined groups for like a little while, but then he always kind of has his own agenda. And in fact, it's like pretty cool that him, him and RG have gotten so tight, and like they're now like you know joined together in terms of like the boxing gym and stuff like that. But um, I can't see him like joining a gang. I just I think he's like more he wants to operate on his own and work when he can with other people. My question is for both of y'all. So, say if Cole, uh, Jughead is actually dead in the next season, who, if, who who's y'all's guess is to be the next Serpent King? What sweep he rise, or what someone else come to claim the title? Interesting. That's interesting. Um, so, who would become the Serpent King? Uh, um, it's interesting because, yeah, really, the Jones have have kind of run the Serpents for for years, and so to see kind of some of that happen. But I mean, we don't know Jughead's dead, so. I mean, that's the problem. Um, his beanie is dead, I, that's for sure. Right? <laughs> I don't know for I, um, I think I think there would definitely be like a contention and that could make for a cool story arc mm -hmm. for like maybe Sweet Pea and, and a couple of other people to fight for, for the Serpent throne, I guess. Um, or maybe they would just become like a, like a nice society of people that all look out for each other. <laughs> and Come on, that was Danish people or something. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think there would definitely be a big fight for it. And Sweepy would be in there for sure. Same. Thank you. So, Jordan, do you listen to Taylor Swift? <laughs> oh, man, I should have said the last thing. Uh, I do not listen to Taylor Swift. I don't listen to so, but I mean, granted, she's everywhere. So like, you hear her all the time, and um, and so she's like on the radio. And so I mean, I've heard her song plenty of times to know. But I did not know. I like when last night when when it was the uh, the talking bit in the song. I really I'd never heard that part before. So I just kind of winked it, man. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, I got nothing against Taylor Swift. I'm just uh, I just I just prefer singing her. I guess. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm really, really excited because y'all guys did make it here and I am really sad because the rest of the cast didn't make it. How come they didn't come anymore? <laughs> I can take a bit. Uh, so KJ, I know for sure he's shooting another movie uh, and just because of the shooting schedule, he wasn't able to make it and it's a, it's a really cool story uh, about a real life musician. I won't, I won't say too much about it. He's right. going to be, he's gonna be doing a lot of music in this. Oh, I still believe, right? That's yeah. it. Yeah, you're, I think people will really like it when they see it. Uh, but So that's the reason he could make it. Otherwise, right. I know he would have loved to have come. Right. Yeah, and I think for everybody, um, for me too, like I've had to, I, and it sucks when you have to, but like sometimes you have to, like, um, your shooting schedules uh, don't ever work out, and you can, they will, like, productions don't let you fly to another city. Right. Like, they just, they, they have the right to hold you, I guess. But, um, I think, yeah, Cole and Lily are both working on another pro other projects right now, and they're so tied up. So it's like, it's tough. It's tough when you're trying to travel and say, meet all the, uh, meet everybody. Um, and it's really great when you can make it out, and then sometimes it sucks when you have to cancel because, um, yeah, projects just get in the way. And, right. And if you're shooting the next day, there's just no way that you, you can fly, you know. Right. So, yeah. And the other question is about Pops. I like to put a good word for them to put a new restaurant in the town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think thank everyone's taking burgers and milkshakes. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, first of all, I want to say y'all are both beautiful specimens of the human race. <laughs> <laughs> like, good job, Charles <laughs> And um, the question I had was for both of y'all, and I guess the rest of the cast, who would y'all say messes up their lives the most? <laughs> I don't think, to be honest, this is like, I mean, it, it does happen a lot. Um, not I, like in this industry, like actors not knowing their lines, but I would say uh, I was so surprised by like all the actors on Riverdale because they come so prepared every day. Um, and I think when you do mess up your lines, like especially for me, um, it's in moments of like where things are really tense and hyped up. And it's it really isn't as a big, much of a big deal as, as it, it seems like as an actor, your goal isn't to like be a line memorizer, your goal is to tell a story. And so if you mess up a line, but if you're in the moment of the emotion of the character and you just call for your line, that's the great thing about film, is like you can just call for your line and someone will just yell it to you. Um, but for me, yeah, like it's really, it's the worst is when you're in like an intense situation and uh, 
and you're really into the scene, and then you just your brain you have a brain fart, and you forget you forget your line, and then you just call for it, and it's right there, and, and keep going. So that's yeah. Yeah, no, I wouldn't want to tell on anybody who forgets their lines. <laughs> but, uh, I really couldn't say. I really couldn't say. Do it right. <laughs> no, no, I'm just joking. We're, everyone's pretty prepared on this show. It takes it really seriously. And, um, yeah, so I, I've never really seen that be an issue at all. And if no one told y'all today, you probably Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so, hi. So, my question is, could y'all ask, or could y'all, like, act out a scene from Riverdale? <laughs> what scene? Any scene. Any scene? Yeah. Scene from anything. I don't know. The thing with being an actor is, like, you learn all your lines, and then you have to learn more lines. So your brain is so full of lines that you're, like, learning lines, throwing them away, learning lines, throwing them away. So I don't, like, remember what I did yesterday because, like, it's crazy. Like, a freestyle skit. Well, I'm trying to think, like, what's a scene between, like, Ben and Like, you could do something that's <laughs> Became the Black Hood. I actually have the improv being the Black Hood. Oh man, why did I go there? So anyhow, I uh, uh, just wanted to thank Jordan and Eli for being up here and answering your questions, everyone. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Um, and um, these guys will be around to meet everyone. So just look at the schedules where they're at, their photo ops and whatnot, and um, they'll see you in just a bit. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Yeah.